Tara Smith, and you're at Terraforma Farms. We're a 300 acre farm just south of Petaluma in Northern California. We raise beef, pork, chicken, we have laying hens for lots of eggs, pasture raised. Everything's out on pasture, all of our animals are raised stress free. And we do that all based in healthy, organic processes in a symbiotic relationship. And what that means is they all work together to help build the soil to grow the grass. And when we're growing grass, we can then, through photosynthesis, take the carbon out of the air and put it back into the ground where it belongs. My husband and I came from a corporate world. We didn't grow up with farming. We didn't know anything about farming. We didn't have parents that were in farming. But what we did find is the access to information on how to farm, or maybe how not to farm, was plentiful. Welcome to the chick brooder. These little chicks are only four days old. We started the farm three years ago because we found out through the Omnivore's Dilemma and Food Inc. and Fresh the Movie, we found out how bad our food industry was. We had absolutely no idea. And we were so shocked, we decided we had to do something about it. We wanted to educate our community of the things that we had learned, and we decided we wanted to be able to provide food that would be real healthy, no antibiotics, no hormones, nothing added to the food. We wanted to make sure we could do it sustainably, and that means profitably. Could we run a business that would actually feed the community and do a good job at it with a profit so it could be sustainable? And then finally, if we could do that, could we duplicate it and make sure that everybody had an option for really healthy food at a cost that they could afford? And so we took off on our new adventure. Today, we feed over 850 families a week through what we call a CSA, or Community Supported Agriculture. Our clients decide how much meat they want every week. We put, put it into a, a cooler bag and how, much, how many vegetables that go into a box. And we deliver that either to their homes or to a drop host, and they pay for that as they go. It's a fabulous way to bring community together. Not only do they get their food from us, they invite their neighbors over to their homes so they can share in community meals. They can teach their friends about really healthy food. So this is a Cornish rock hen. They, this is their, their home for eight weeks. They'll be out here, they'll range wherever they would like. They will spend the evenings out in the cool weather and um, running all over the place eating bugs. And then nighttime on their own, once it's dark, they actually walk inside and we can shut the door. What you see behind me is one of three hen lane houses that we have here on the property. They're mobile homes. And so they move every three days, we'll move them to a new spot. This allows for their fertilizing to go on at different parts of the farm to help regenerate the soil. <laughs> there are all kinds of solutions to the problem that we see. But most importantly, it's just getting started, just get a little education. And the food world, it's a lot of fun and it's really tasty. It all works together so well. And you know what, three years ago, I didn't know anything about this. Today, after three short years, there's so much great information out there. Anybody can learn just enough so they can eat healthy, provide healthy food for their families, feel good about what they're doing, and for a fraction of the actual cost of what that food you would buy in the grocery store is. We really built a community, and that, that wasn't what we thought we were going to end up with. It was quite a surprise and a nice one. Yeah.